YouTube, what he do, man, it's your boy, Steph TV, man, I'm up in the morning, uh, on my way to the gym, put this work in, I'm drinking my coffee, and, uh, you know, today is, today is going to be a good day, and, you know, this is something, you know, I, as I reacted to that uh, Cheaters video, go check it out. There's, there's a couple things that I want to point out in that video, and you know, it, you know, it's, this is, excuse me, this is something that you know guys really gotta like understand, man. You know, you're not the only one, right? You're not the only one she she has, like you know, what I'm saying you're just. You're just that guy, like you know. What I'm saying, I'm gonna say it like this: most women, especially in today's world, they got that that one dude who, like, there's just something about him she cannot let go. It could be just the emotional way, um, you know, you know, just her type, the imprint, or you know, I'm gonna say it like this too: just the digging stick, right? And just like in that video yesterday, the new dude who popped up out of nowhere and she blatantly disrespected him, like introducing him, him not being RP aware, that's that's who he is to her in her eyes and in, in her emotions, in her moment. And you gotta be careful with that. A lot of you dudes gonna have to just like suck it up and deal with it. Like whether it don't even matter how long you with that woman, right? She's she's always gonna be a part. She's always gonna have him around in her life, and, and honestly, in your life, and, and that's on you whether you want to accept that or not. And I'm gonna tell dudes like this: I, I, I would, right? Like, like I always say, if you cannot like imprint her, or you cannot like change her to like make her stop thinking about him bro like well you cannot anyway because she gonna do what she do you you wasting your time and, and I, I do my best to tell you guys that because this is gonna happen to you in the future because the most high always provides when you get that money up and you know you have a lifestyle you're gonna meet a certain chick but you you don't have the awareness of what she is and what she is and what she do how she feels about certain individuals you're gonna suffer you're gonna suffer and that's what a lot of dudes are doing right now um and like like in like in the yesterday uh video I, I put up you know marriage one right i'm pretty sure that dude 62 years old made a huge mistake marrying the wrong woman because you know the chick was probably still in love with somebody else and just not thinking right, right? And I tell you guys, man, you really have to be careful of that because you're going to suffer. Especially, too, if you live in California or just anywhere. The system don't care about you, bro. You got you to gotta shut up and do what you got to do, just like in the NBA. These teams only you, you shut up, dribble, and shoot. That's it. And it really had to be really have to be careful of that because you're going to end up just like let's just circle back you can end up just like the dude on the the cheaters episode hurt his world is like you ever when something like crazy happened to you like in an instant moment everything's gone but everything is like this that's what you do that's what he's going through because why because he's in love with you know what I'm saying? And and also, too, it's happened before. So instead of him trying to figure out why do I act like this, I keep carrying it over. And maybe one day that chick will care about my feelings the same way I care about her. But she don't, she don't, you know what I'm saying? None of these chicks care, bro. None of them care. You got to understand that, man. And, and, and another thing, too, I want to drop, man, is like, you know why? Are, you know I, I don't recommend guys living in a chick's 
home. And what I mean is where her name is her name is on the lease, her name is on the electricity bill, um, cell phone bill, cable, and all that. I, I, I highly don't recommend guys to do that because why? Because you have women who be in control. Start talking down and you treating you like garbage. Because why? Because you living in her space. Now you, you're not you're not looked at as a king. You're looked at as a peon. You know what I'm saying? You, you know you. I I say it like this. You can, but a couple months prior to possibly to a year, y'all two should be having your own like your own joint. Because you know anything could happen. She can walk up and leave. She can tell you to leave. Now you got nowhere to go. Then what are you gonna do? Sit on your homie couch, right? That's why I tell guys, man, you know, this is why the self-improvement and having your own bread and having your own is beneficial to you. It's where you have a, you have a space. You have the things. And let's just circle back to the marriage thing, you know. Whatever she gets, she owns. So it's like you really got to be careful of that, whether you own it or not, because then she take everything from you, right? Have to be careful of these things, man, and you know, you, you gotta understand. Do not act like it's okay to be emotional because chicks. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, bros. Women don't care about no emotional dude, especially today's world. Especially too when she has options. She can use you just to just to be around and girl time talk. And meanwhile. She got that one dude who don't care. And she knows it. Taking out them guts. Making her feel emotional. She can be in love with him and you're going to end up hurt. Because you cannot, you cannot be what that other guy is. And that's why I tell guys, man, don't ever try to be like something that you're not. Because you really, really end up faking it to yourself. And, and faking your persona. Especially people who are close to you. You're like, yo, bro, why are you acting like that? That's not who you really are tell guys all the time, man, you know, don't pretend to be something that you're not. Because now you're faking your image. You don't know who you are. You gotta know who you are in this world, man. You know, if you don't, figure it out. Don't be lost in the sauce, but figure it out. Figure out what you're, you're, who you are as a person, you know. Spend some time, do different stuff, man. Don't, don't be focus on a woman like this dude was you could tell he was so focused he he had everything mapped out and let me tell you like this this is this he's a, he's a good kid good good kid good kid good good boy good boy not a player um you know wants to treat everyone right with respect you know um wants to you know give his woman the world you know what society paints on us but look how look how he gets treated on right good kid really good kid you know what i'm saying no no homo you know you you, you handsome dude you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm not no homo you know what i'm saying he you know he, he can get chicks but when the looks don't match you know your 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 persona your masculinity man or whatever it is bro you you gonna you gonna suffer bro you gonna die and you, you cannot have that, man. You know, women in today's world don't care about that, bro. You cannot walk around here with this. This is not how it's supposed to be. She don't care about. I'm telling you guys, man. Women don't care, bro. You can get replaced by. You can get replaced automatically like that, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Don't ever think like you got a contract with this woman, bro. Like you, you can get replaced just like that. She can drop you. She can she can have you and like twenty other dudes, and she'll she'll leave all you can do is just to focus on that one guy. It's facts. You have to be careful with that, man. There's nothing wrong with loving. There's nothing wrong with you know having a chick or having that female companionship. But man, when you act like this dude, man, it it it's it, it's terrible. It's terrible. That's why, you know, I say these things.
because why? Because I that was me. Back back in the high school days. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, why, why can't this beautiful girl like me? Just like just like, you know, remember in um um Spider-Man where Peter Parker was like the softy dude? And he got Mary Jane at the end. Yo, life ain't like that, bro. Life is not like that. I'm sorry. It's not like that, bros. It's not. Women who see them type of dudes, they run right over. They disrespect them. They act like the they act like the toxic dudes. And that's who they cater to, the toxic guys. They won't tell you that, but yo, they're gonna be like, yeah, this dude is nothing but a bum, a, a BITC. You know what I'm talking about. You have to be aware of those things, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta build yourself up. And I tell, I'm gonna tell you like this too. If you acting like this, you shouldn't even be talking to females, period, bro. You should be always working on yourself. Take some time. Enjoy life. Explore. You know what I'm saying? Read a couple books. Meditate, man. Figure out who you are. You know what I'm saying? Hit the bag here and there. But don't ever, ever, ever act like that, man, right over there. Hell. 